when you learned about the program, what did you think about the premise? We met almost two years ago, actually, at the Zero to Three conference. Yeah. Yeah, well, first of all, the premise aligns beautifully with the foundation of Zero to Three. And I particularly like the program for a couple of reasons. Um, not only that you focus on children and families. So you are, babies exist in a context. They don't exist by themselves. So by focusing on um, the family with a particular focus on maternal health and, and support and that child, that was tremendously valuable. Also, the fact that, that the program relies on trained professional um, caregivers, home visiting caregivers. And that's actually what made it so tremendously rich for me because I got to accompany the caregivers on their home visits to follow their lead. They were the anchors to this program. They are the experts. And so really they provided the foundation for that because they have a relationship with families and children. And I was able to join in and add, you know, what I might be able to add from my own perspective, from my perspective, but it was critically important that it, that the work be rooted in the culture experiences, the relationships um, that the caregivers had with families in that community. This reminds me of a conversation that I, we had, Jackie. Uh -huh. I was thinking the same okay. thing. And what was your answer to that, Jackie? You know, um, Ruth, I think it was such an interesting experience to think about preparing to go in and do this and have this kind of concern. I mean, I think it actually came up on an, a webinar that I participated in before I did my service. And then to go watch and understand I think for me, the understanding was that these long-term relationships that are in place, long-term in the lives of these very young children, but that all of the teaching staff, the directors, the caregivers that are involved, as well as the, the Global Volunteers Program Manager, who's been with the program for eight years or longer, um, that these are long-term relationships that the children really rely on as their sort of secure base in all of this work. And that you know, depending on their temp individual temperaments, they were still able to really welcome strangers in with a bit of openness because they had these secure people to turn to. So we weren't coming in as their primary caregivers. And uh, I think we were well prepared to go at the children's pace and let them warm up to us. But I think it works because they have such consistent, stable, caring, caregiving staff that's been there over time. Um, and all of the children are kind of cared for in a, a family style arrangement, even though they're in these separate child care classrooms. Welcome, Allie. So glad that you joined us. You can, can you unmute yourself? Hi, thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Allie served in Tanzania with Lynette. We were just talking about um, what it felt like to walk into someone's home. Yeah, I think kind of to echo what the other ladies have mentioned too, um, just how the experience was and also thinking a lot about um, like waiting to be invited and waiting for the questions and um, giving, I, I kept thinking about how I can give what might be most helpful at this time that wouldn't feel overwhelming. So like small little nuggets of feedback or support to, um, to, to kind of help encourage what they're already doing well, instead of feeling like I have to change everything that's already happening. Those were kind of things that I kept holding on to and thinking about as I, as I worked with families and stepped into homes and communities. So appreciating that the way that families and children engage is a reflection of their, of their culture and how we might together think about ways that might be helpful to them or not, but you know, offering it as a, something to consider. So um, that's where I felt like I was able to offer ways of thinking about early childhood development while at the same time honoring the fact that there is a different cultural kind of perspective and practice in different environments and being able to honor those. 
So I, I have a question for all of you based on that observation. Um, I know every time I go into a community, I always walk away with something big that I learn from someone while I'm there. Jackie, what was, did you have a big learning moment? What's the, the most, what stands out in your mind as the, um, the biggest thing that you learned? You know, I think for me, it reinforced how um, similar we are, especially around early childhood and caregiving issues mm -hmm. across cultures, languages, different forms of education. I mean, the very core skills that we're all talking about um, in terms of slowing down and waiting to be invited and to following the lead of the parent when we're hoping the parents will follow the lead of the child or following the leads of the teachers, these kind of core principles of relationship-based services and infant and early childhood mental health and development were just enacted over and over and over again. And when I could kind of calm my own nervous system down because mm -hmm. I was in a strange place and there were lots of new things and I was really working hard to keep up with the language and such, but when I could like be present in my own body and be with people and, and follow what I, I knew to be good practice, but it was being reinforced in, in so many different ways than, um, than it would be in my day-to-day -day routines, right? So it's sort of like taking what we already know and applying it to a very new setting and going, oh my gosh, this, we are all human. And this is really, relationships matter so, so much. 